Tailwind UI, very useful tool if you write Vue applications or React applications. But what if you write HTML or WordPress or something that isn't a JavaScript library or framework? Well, it works for that too. And I'm gonna show you exactly how. So let's have a quick look. This is Tailwind UI. This is a navbar. So if we'd have a look here, you can select React, Vue, HTML. If we go back onto Vue, we'll see this requires JS disappears because it's already created. So let's click on requires JS. So the problem is the HTML templates don't have the JavaScript built into them. So what you have to do is write your own JavaScript. So let's have a look. If we scroll down, Tailwind UI tell us how we should do that or they give a suggestion of how we could do it. And that suggestion is by using alpine.js. So let's do it and get a navbar set up on our HTML project. I've got a really simple HTML project here, PHP. So let's first things first, set up Tailwind. So go to Tailwind, go to installation. I'm not gonna faff around too long. If you know how to do this, just skip ahead. We're just gonna copy this in to our head. Save that. So that's Tailwind installed. And we're gonna to go to alpine.js. And we're gonna do the same thing. I'm guessing we can just do that. Okay, tidy that up a little bit. And now we should be good to go. Let's have a quick look down here. Give that a refresh. JavaScript should have Alpine. Yep, yeah, we've got Tailwind as well. Okay, perfect. So that is working. What we're gonna do is make sure we've got HTML. This is Tailwind UI. And we're gonna, we can have a look, quick look at the code. So that's what we're gonna copy and paste into our HTML project. So I've copied that. I'm including this nav.php file here and it's gonna be above the title. So I'm just gonna paste that in, save it. And now if we have a look at our project, we'll see we have that there. So what we want is a responsive nav menu. So at the moment, when I make it small like that and I click that, nothing happens. So what we're gonna do is have a look at how it's done. So if we just make it, so we have the nav menu for the mobile showing and then we'll add in the functionality into what we need. So if we have a look at the code from Tailwind UI, gives you little hints. Well, not hints, it, it literally tells you what to do. So icon when menu is closed, menu open. So basically this is saying what classes we need to be displaying depending on the state. So first thing we can do is go to Alpine and click get started. And I'll just show you how we do it. So we need to use this directive, data directive, and we're just gonna conveniently use what they already have here. So if you have a look here, look, basically you can set variables uh, and set, give them a state. You could set it to anything you want. So I'm just gonna paste that at the top. So anything now within this nav element is gonna have access to this open here. So currently it's set to false. false. Let's just work our way from the top downwards. So we can do these classes. So the way you do it is you bind, you can bind uh, classes. So we say, we put that little code on there. If you're familiar with view, then that will look familiar to you. So we say class, and now we say if open is true, then we want to display hidden else block. And now let's copy that. And if we come down to this icon here, we want to do the opposite of that. Open block. Oh. I do know what I'm doing, I promise. Open block or else hidden. 
and we want to just get rid of these here as well because that might mess it up. So the block and hidden from the class there. So let's save that and see if anything's actually happened. So refresh the page. Okay, so they're both there. Is that right? Who knows? I don't think so. Sorry, have I done something wrong here? Open, hidden. Yeah, look, silly boy. I haven't put these quotation marks on properly. Okay. Now, let's refresh it. Okay, so it's just showing that one. Okay, because currently, open is set to false up here. If we change that to true, we should see the other icon. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense, but we're gonna set back that back to false and move our way down. So if you have a look, we've actually got two kind of menus. Well, the menu and we've got this drop down. So didn't want to do this drop down as well, but we're here, so you know it might be useful to some people. So let's just go through the whole component and get it sorted. Um, so let's just ignore that. Okay, so we can move on to this one. We can do another state here. So we've got the one at the top. So open is for the main nav menu, and we're going to say drop down open or drop down open. And we also can make that false. I haven't tested this before, so I'm assuming this is going to work well. Um, but if it doesn't, then it's going to be a rubbish video. Okay, so uh, okay, so show hide. So this is the drop down here. So we're going to show it or hide it based on the state. So of drop down open. So we say x show drop down open. So if we save that now, it should be disappeared. Yeah, there we go. Hopefully this is making sense. And then look here we've got a transition we can apply and this is actually amazing just just amazing watch this okay so go to alpine again go to transitions or transition next transition and then you can see let's just go down a bit there's different ways of doing it but we want to apply classes because we're here we go we're doing it with tailwind so i'm just going to copy this because i'm going to assume that this is probably very similar to what they've got there anyway. So, just neaten that up a bit. Kind of, right. So, we basically just want to replicate that here. Um, okay, so let's try that. See if anything's actually happened. Oh yeah, I haven't actually put the thing on the button. Okay, uh, so we want to say the, the, the button. So we want to say a click, and we want to basically toggle it. Uh, so what we'll see, drop down, open. and it's a nice little transition as well. Okay, so moving on to the next one. So we've got mobile menu here, and this one we want to say x show if open is true. And there you have it. Refresh that. Click that. Oh. Do you know what? I promise you, I do actually know what I'm doing. This is so naff. This is so rubbish. This is tutorial. This is just awful. Okay, so button. We want to say a click again. We want to say open equals opposite of open. We also want to do that on the other. Oh no, actually no. That's fine. We don't. We don't. Just, just ignore me. 
There we go. Okay, so you can see what's going on there. Also, look at this little, when we refresh it, all that stuff shows up. We don't want that. So something else you can do with Alpine is cloak, I think. Yeah, there we go. So basically you can stop that blip from uh, appearing. So what you do is this, you just put some CSS, put that on your file, Let's just put it at the bottom of here. And then you just go like this. So anything that's blipping up, so let's do one at a time. So just have a quick reminder, look. So the nav menu blips up, see that? So let's do that first, because we, we don't want to show it. Um, so we want to just say that X cloak. Oh, X cloak. Save that. And now watch, it won't. Okay, notice the X does still there. So let's do it on that as well. Um, which one's that? Icon when menu is closed. Icon when menu is open. So it's that one, isn't it? I think. So now that shouldn't show either. And let's do it on that drop down as well. Yeah, this one. Oh, it's probably need to do that, isn't it? So hopefully, there you go, much better. So that is a terrible tutorial on how to use Tailwind UI with HTML been away for a while been really busy with work i'm going to be doing a lot more videos so stay tuned and see you next time